Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we're looking at another release from Almanac Brewing out of California. This is their Dog Patch Sour, coming in at 7.5% alcohol by volume. It's a Flanders style red, one of my personal favorite styles of sours, that they brewed with California cherries and aged in red wine barrels. And the interesting, really interesting thing about this um, is the yeast strain they used. They used a wild brewer strain, but they also used San Francisco sourdough yeast, which is very, very interesting. If you want to pick this one up as well as the other Almanac beers you can go to inside the cellar.com it's a great uh, newer online beer store they have a lot of really kind of higher end beers um, at really affordable pricing and they ship them to you obviously that so said, let me get into glass that you guys know it smells taste to give you the final verdict on the dog patch sour all right guys so the aroma on the dog patch sour oh wow big juicy tart cherry aromas coming off this one slight tannin quality slight oakiness from that oak barrel Big kind of acidic uh, tartness, lemony kind of tartness coming off of it. A really, really intense smelling beer. All right, guys, so the taste on the Dog Patch Sour. Cheers. Wow, yeah. Definitely sour. Wow, right at the front of the tongue. Big acidic uh, kind of sourness. Gets the mouth immediately salivating. Middle of the mouth, you definitely get a big tart cherry, a little bit of a cherry skin, a little bit of a subtle oakiness in there. Again, more wine uh, kind of tanning characteristics coming out as well. Kind of a, an underlying bready, dry bready note uh, that kind of exemplifies and kind of uh, puts the sourness on a pedestal, so to speak. The cherries kind of all rein that in, but kind of bring it all together at the same time. Definitely some complexity going on this beer, multiple levels of complexity. In the aftertaste, a really, really dry aftertaste. Uh, more of that tart, tart cherry, a little bit of an oakiness in there as well. Just a very, very complex sour. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Almanac Dog Patch Sour, 7.5%. This is batch number two. Again, go to InsideTheCellar.com if you want to pick up this beer as well as the other Almanac beers. And I haven't had a bad one from them yet, and this one is no exception. Guys, this one is getting an A. You know, I'm, I'm not a big sour guy. It's not a style I typically gravitate towards. You know, being a beer geek, it might be a surprising and all, but I think they can all tend to taste a little bit on the similar side if they're not done well. I think this one is an exception to that. You know, sure, it's definitely sour, but adding that cherry, adding that the wine barrel component to it really just elevates it and makes it stand out from just, you know, your run of the mill kind of lacto sour or whatever that's just sour and nothing else. This has that extra complexity that I really want in a sour, you know, that the, the best of them have, like Cantillon and Three Fontenot and all those guys do. Um, and this one definitely has that. It's just an awesome, awesome sour. Almanac, you know, they're a new brewery, but they're doing some fantastic, fantastic sours as well as barrel aged beers and all this other stuff. So, with that said, getting an A for me and member folks, I've seen short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.